Okay, thank you for watching. So essentially what we're doing here is we're gonna take some dimensions. So I'm just in an empty house right now. As you can see, I'm gonna turn this on, press the bottom. It's already calibrated to feet. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure. Generally what I like to do is I like to figure out which way is north. So in this instance, this side of the house is north. So I like to do north going south and then east going west. So it's very simple. You just press this middle button right here and then it's going to give you a green eye over there get it level as much as you can it doesn't have to be perfect snap it mm -hmm. you get the dimension right there very easy and then you do the dimension same thing over here bam you got two right here so then you can use your speech to text function on your phone go into the google doc app there and just press it on the right top uh, and then just do speech to text do 20.95 feet by 13.5 feet then you got it then the same thing here like with a bathroom like this it's kind of weird you're just trying to get rough dimensions right so like you're not trying to overestimate but you're trying to make it as square as possible so you can see right here right this this wall from here that was like 13 and a half feet so it's gonna be roughly about the same. So you're just gonna come in here, go like here, go bam. You see that one? That's 16.2 feet. Again, I'm going north-south um, first, and then just maybe go over here in this part of the bathroom, do the same, bam. So then you can kind of just go about it that way, and then you put this as master bedroom. So you always start with master bedroom, bedroom one, and then work your way clockwise. So working my way clockwise, you can see the front of the house, which is north there. We always start in the master bedroom and then just work your way this way. So there's nothing else here. Go to this bedroom. This would be bedroom two. Um, I like to do be bedrooms first, and then this would be bedroom three. This would be bedroom four. And then last, you do the bathroom. So this would be the same thing. You measure this way, then you measure this way. And then you would put this as upstairs bathroom uh, one. And then you would put this um, as bathroom full because it has its own full tub. Okay. Then coming down here, a great example, we start always in the right. So right underneath the first bedroom on the right clockwise. So right here, you know, north and then east, west. You could do this bathroom last and then uh, going in here. Now we wanna look out for conforming and non-conforming bedrooms. So this bedroom does not meet being a bedroom because it needs a closet. Even though it has a window and it has an entrance right here, it does not, it's a non-conforming bedroom. So you put that as, um, you know, non-conforming bedroom office because it looks like an office and then uh, keep going. Actually, I went out of order. So we should be going clockwise, remember? So that's just a note, but then you go here and then with something like this, you kind of just can separate it. So this is kind of more of a dining area, or excuse me, a living room. And then this is more of like the actual kitchen dining room. So I would like kind of split it. You can kind of see like the splitting this would probably be like kind of right where that vent is, roughly to the left of that vent. So just come over here, you know, roughly like your foot or whatever, and kind of just hold it, get it level. And then obviously go this way again. You're getting your dimensions there. And then you just turn back around right where you were. Just put it up to your side. It doesn't have to be exact, but you know, we're just doing that. And then when you have a separated kitchen like this, right? Because this is a different space than this. So just do it like simple like this. Just put it on the edge and then have it go over there, press it. And then the same thing for this kitchen. You could just set it down if you wish and then get it. You know, you don't want to cheat and get that. Just try to make it as a box as you can where the most square footage is, you know, as you're going around. And then this would be the kitchen, obviously. This would be a walk-in pantry. You'd get the dimensions here. Keep going clockwise. You'd do the laundry room. And then there's a garage in there. Do the garage. And then I would consider this like a formal dining room, not a room because there's only there's no closet. So this would just be that. And then we'd come back to this one over here. Um, and then we could just go to the basement real quick just to kind of get an idea of what that might look like. Um, really beautiful house, pretty large place, to be honest. Um, so yeah, down here is gonna be about the same. 
But let's start with this bedroom. So do north, south, east, west, bam. Got it, come back to this bathroom. Um, do north, south, uh, then east, west, then hit this bathroom. Now, this bathroom is gonna be a three quarters bath because it doesn't have a, a tub, obviously. So you would just mark that as basement bathroom. Um, three fourths, you know, three quarters of a bath because it has only a shower and a toilet. And then here, you know, you could split this in two, obviously right here, maybe from this wall over, going like that. And then <clears throat> when you finish with that, just come over here. It's a little bit of an awkward kind of basement. Here's the lay of the land. I was just standing over there. So you could just come over here and get your dimension from where this wall ends. You know, my foot's kind of roughly there. Go here, bam, get it to that wall. And then just go, it's gonna be the same one, it's 30 feet. And then lastly, one of the most important areas, taking photos regardless of if we're listing the property or just putting it on um, to market. We always wanna get some good photos of here and trying to go in and document what we have here. If there's dates and stuff, that's helpful. This one did not have dates in there. Um, like this water heater, for an example, you could see right here, it says July 2018. So we know it was installed probably in 2018 or at least was built. So 2018, 2019. And then like these types of things, right? If you could take like a couple photos of this, this is going to tell you um, about this furnace, obviously, and the model number and that kind of thing. And then you can look up the SKU number online and see how old it is. Um, so taking pictures of these, and then of course this is also helpful to kind of match. But as you can see, this is going to tell you what the age of the furnace is, and this, this is just a warning label, but yeah, if you just want to take pictures of these, these are obviously part numbers for this, but just to make sure you could just take pictures of all of these, it's only five, six pictures, and then of course the same with the water heater, you want to do that as well. Um, you know, utility rooms, you could get the measurements if you wish. It's not that necessary, but yeah, good deal. Thank you. Well, hopefully this is helpful. If you got any questions on this, let me know. It's really just walking around the house in a clock uh, clockwise fashion, starting north, uh, south, and then going east, west after that. And uh, yeah, just making it happen very simply. If you got any questions, uh, let me know. If we can improve this, let me know. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Thanks.